Hello friends, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will learn the second group of single candlestick patterns that is hammer and hanging man pattern. Now these two patterns come under umbrella group. Since the shape of both these are similar to umbrella due to their short body at one part of the candle and a long wick to the other. At this point, please note a very important fact about umbrella group candles. The color is immaterial in analyzing the umbrella group candles. Hope by now you can answer this question. Yes friends, because of their short body and long wave, the color is not important as open and close are very close to each other. Let's start with the hammer pattern. Friends, the name hammer comes from the fact that the shape of this pattern looks like a hammer. In case of hammer, the open and close are close to each other forming a tiny real body. The lower wick must be at least twice the length of the real body or more the better. As discussed earlier, the real body can be green or red. And finally, there is no or little upper wick as shown in these demo hammer patterns. Now friends, hammer is a bullish reversal pattern and thus they should be ideally formed in a downtrend. Now let's understand the psychology behind this pattern. Now, as the market is in continuous downtrend, on the day of hammer formation also, the bears drag the price down during the session as indicated by long lower wick. But soon the smart money pours in and bulls fight strongly and conquers the bears by pushing the price back near to the open of the session which resulted in formation of a little square shaped body. The longer the wick, the shorter is the likelihood of a reversal. This formation shows that the seller's momentum has in fact weakened and sellers were not able to push the prices lower. And if next day also the bulls hold their fort, then we can say that the reversal is real and trading position can be taken. Now friends here please note that the psychology and formation of hammer is similar to the dragonfly doji. Since here also the long lower wick results into a likely reversal. However, the hammer forms a real body but the dragonfly is expected to have a little or negligible distance between open and close. So friends, here I would like to conclude an important point that the dragonfly doji is in fact a stronger indicator of reversal than the hammer. But as you can notice, the distinction is very minute between these two. Now let's understand the trading setup of hammer pattern. Friends, the setup is almost same as that of dragonfly doji. So the first step is T for trend. Now the trend must be down in case of hammer. Then next is R that is region of interest. Friends, since this is a bullish reversal pattern, so this should ideally form around support levels. Now this can be a trend line or horizontal support level or even a moving average. Now for RSI, the RSI should be in oversold levels. The next is E for entry. Now the entry level can be open of next candle if there is a gap of opening. Else wait for next day's candle to close above the hammer. Only then take the entry. Our last step is finally exit in the trade. Now friends you can take your target at previous resistance level or previous swing high. Please note just take your targets rationally as per your risk taking capability. If the previous resistance or swing high is much higher and you don't expect that to cross then you can even exit at 50% of that level. Or many traders can even use 1 is to do risk to reward ratio. Let's see a practical example of US stock Tesla. Just notice the stock is in downtrend here which is followed by formation of hammer candlestick here as shown in this yellow box. Just notice that the size of the wick is more than twice the size of body. Thus, it's a valid hammer pattern. So, let's apply our tree trading setup and determine if we can trade this setup. So, the first step is clear that is trend is downtrend. Then we notice that this hammer pattern is obviously formed in a region of interest. Notice this support level. Then we will check the RSI. Notice this is also in oversold region. Finally, we will wait for the next candle. As you can see, the next session has a gap down opening. But the session ended higher than the hammer pattern, which gives a signal that we can go long at around this level. 
the stop loss will be at lower end of the hammer that is here and target will be resistance level that is this as you can notice our target got hit around here i will again repeat the conservative investors can target 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio or even 50% of this level now let's move on to the other pattern of the set that is the hanging man pattern now friends in case of hanging man the open and close are closer to each other with a long lower wick which is twice the length of the real body but more the better the hanging man pattern generally has no or negligible upper wick as shown in these demo patterns since this is a bearish reversal pattern hence it must form in an uptrend here also the color of body has least importance now friends before you start raising your eyebrows i would like to clear an important question which most new traders ask that is what's the difference between hammer and hanging man they both look similar to me so friends the formation of hanging man is same as that of hammer but please note that the difference lies in the position of signal that is the hammer comes after a downtrend while a hanging man comes after an uptrend hope the difference is clear to you now let's understand the psychology of hanging man pattern friends as the price rises steadily forming an uptrend one day you see the price falling heavily generally due to selling pressure now this can be because of profit booking by the big bulls of the market or even expensive valuation of the market seeing the price drop retail investor generally took this as an entry opportunity at lower prices this leads to price recovery and it ends slightly above or below the opening price So this is how the hanging man pattern is formed. Thus the hanging man can be treated as first signal of weakness during an uptrend. Now let's understand the trading setup. So the first step is T for trend. Now the trend must be up in case of hanging man. Then second is region of interest. Friends since this is a bearish reversal pattern so this should form around resistance levels. This can be a trend line or a horizontal resistance level or even a moving average. Now for RSI the RSI should be in overbought levels then the entry level can be opening of next candle if it's a gap down opening else wait for the next day's candle to close below the hanging man candle only then take the entry as said earlier always take your confirmations and never trade candlesticks in isolation finally the last step is exit from the trade now friends you can take your target at previous support level or previous swing low if the previous support or swing low is much lower and you don't expect that to cross then you can even exit at 50% of that level you can even exit with 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio or even trail your stop loss and ride your profits longer let's look at a practical example of hanging man from the tesla chart as you can see the trend is up here which is followed by formation of hanging man in this yellow box Let's check other confluencing points of our tree setup. So let's check the region of interest. Friends, this chart is not showing any region. I will just zoom out this chart to have a comprehensive view. Now friends, this is the zoom out chart and here is a hanging man pattern. Now can you conclude anything here? Just notice this trend line and see how the price is respecting this trend line. This trend line is in fact acting as a strong resistance level. Thus you can see that our hanging man candle is formed at a region of interest. Let's zoom in again. So let's check the RSI. As you can see the RSI is in overbought region. Finally we take our entry here at the gap down opening with target of this region of congestion. As you can see this target was achieved here. So friends hope this set of single candlestick reversal pattern is clear to you. In next lecture we will learn the inverted hammer and shooting star reversal patterns.